Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Aurora with Texas Craft Lover. And I am here today to show you what I made uh, for Studio 28E's design team project. I am using some of Cherie's uh, digital kit, a kit from Cherie's uh, Etsy store. And her link to, the, to her Etsy shop will be down below in the, com in the description of the video. Um, the, the digital kit that I'm using today is called Colonial Times. And um, I'm going to try to make this video really quickly because I have my family here and I don't know how long the quietness will last. So if you hear, you know, weird noises, that's them. <laughs> so I have um, made a cinch just using some uh, organza ribbon uh, that you just use for bow making. And I just wrap that around there. Take that off. I put uh, this little book. This entire little book is made up of uh, file folders. Uh, I believe I used four file folders, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the tutorial that I saw for this particular uh, method uh, is from a channel on YouTube called joggles.com and I will put the link down below in the description as well. Any links that I mention here or any channels or shops that I mention here um, I will put in the description uh, with a link so you can go there and, and look those up. Um, first off uh, the very first fit image that you see I haven't done very much to it because uh, I haven't been feeling like crafting as of late. I did create it because um, it was, uh, I have, I'm on the design team and I needed to create something with our digital kit and I had already gotten in and I couldn't back out and I didn't want to back out. So I thought um, I'll just make it as much as I can. I haven't decorated it at all. So please forgive the plainness of this book. Um, but I did use her almost her, all her entire kit I try to use in one project um, whether it be tags or the actual uh, uh, junk journal and um, except for one or two images or one one page in particular that I did not use because I couldn't I didn't know how to do it make it fit into what I wanted. So um, this is what I made. Now I shrunk her whole entire, every single page has been shrunk down to a five by seven sheet and I rounded some of the corners. Um, and some of the corners I didn't pay attention and I rounded them when I shouldn't have. So if you see those, please ignore my mistakes. <laughs> so this is one of, this comes with the kit and I think I backed it up. I printed all the pages on regular copy paper um, so, and then the, the stuff that I knew needed to be, um, um, you know, a little bit stronger, like these, um, uh, ephemera pieces, then I put on cardstock, which is, I believe I used, uh, oh, I don't even know what kind, what's, what pound of cardstock I use, but I will put that in the description below in a link to where you can get it, the cardstock that I used, but if you're interested. But her pages, uh, her kits are just printed on regular copy paper, 20, I think I used 24 or 28. Either one of those I have on hand all the time. And I get those from Walmart. And this is her image. This is one of the little tags that she has in, in her kit. It's, it's small, but it's not this small. <laughs> When I shrunk down the pages, this is how tiny this came out. And I forgot to put a string through that, through this tag right here. This image was actually uh, from one of her belly bands that she's included in her kit. And it was too long, even after I shrunk it down. So I chopped off one of the ends and I made sure to chop it off to where this image came free and clear because I did want to use that because I thought that was a really cute pineapple that she used. And I just decorated with a little piece of, uh, you know, lace that I had laying around and a little piece of music paper and some, um, what do you call it, mm -mm -mm -mm, lace. But I didn't like the way it looked because, you know, you can almost see through it. Well, you can see through it, but... 
I think I'm going to have to recover this one with something else because I'm not really enjoying that look. Although it does look really pretty and really dainty, but um, I don't know. I'm not totally convinced. Maybe something on top of that may help. And um, here's one of her other digital kits. This was on a page, like a page spread. But I wanted this element to be just like a picture, picture frame. Kind of gave me the feel of, you know, this is a family book that you're looking through. And, you know, I meant to put a title here for family pictures or something. This is another one of her tiny little embellishments that she is has included in her um, digital kit. This is one of half of one of the, her pages. So I kind of split up some of the pages and kept some, kept some of the the pages together. Now this one I used it to go right across the other page. This is another background that she's including, including in her digital kit. And as you can tell, I love grungy. I love distressed edges. So this whole entire book has distressed edges. <laughs> and I know some of you don't like that and you by, by all means can do this exact book with no distressing at all. Because I distress the file folders that I use. It's just, man, you know, the vanilla regular office that holds eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. That's the type of um, uh, file folder that I used. And here's that where I left off. I love these images. She gave us a little, oops, I think that's glue right there. Sorry about that. And, um... I think she gave, she, no, I don't think, I know, she gave us a few sheets that have lines in them so that we could journal. I love this one because this one, you can, it's open to whatever you want. You know, the that's why I love it because I can do writing on here or I can put a picture on top or another embellishment that I like or whatever. Now, in these um, file folders, you are able to make pockets. And as you can see, my gluing together of these, this folder along with these pages was not perfect. You, you see that corner? It's coming off of the file folder because of the way the file folders are shaped. If you don't like that, I recommend you trim them even further down because you will get uneven edges and the tabs as well. You create pockets by just gluing the bottom and the top to create a side pocket. You can glue the sides if you want to and, and leave the top open and glue the bottom and the sides so you can get a top pocket. Um, the possibilities are endless. This is another one of her images in there. I created this. This is, just looked like a family portrait. And then I thought mom and dad are missing so I'll put them there. This is one of her, her um, it came along with this page as, as well with as this one. Those two images were together on one single spread along with some of these uh, pineapples, but I just love these pineapples singly. So I decided to, to put one apart. This is kind of like a, a ticket shape with the lady and gentleman in that picture. And I love old stuff. So the colonial kit was like super, uh, you know, it called to me a lot. And here's another one of her images, another one of her pages, page spreads that I only used half of one. And I love the cityscapes, kind of like, you know, this is where we used to live, kind of telling a story. And I love it, all the elements that she included in this kit. They just kind of fall together. And she didn't use all blues all through, and that's what I love, because this has a little bit of pink in there, too. And a little bit of green and a little bit of blue, so, you know, you can accent the color that you love in this kit. And here I just put a little bit of trim uh, lace, and uh, I love birds, and I love pink, <laughs> so I love this spread. Here's another little pocket that I made in the book. Um... And here's another spread. She had stamps, and I think those are like dress forms or what you can wear. This this almost looks like a mask, but it's not. It's a little girl's face. And uh, uh, because I shrunk it so much, it's hard to tell on these, and they look kind of blurry. I guess I didn't do a very good job of shrinking them. But that that is one of the downfalls, I think, maybe with, with shrinking them down, they do, you do lose a lot of detail because these are meant to be, you know, bigger pages, 
but the details are good enough for me. I like the way they turned out. I want to embellish this page a little bit more. And here's a little bit of a spot where I can journal in it. And uh, I didn't, uh, you, I didn't leave a pocket on this one, but I should have. But I was trying to, to you know, to hurry up and do this. I was at the end of my, uh, of the month, and I hadn't, you know, even recorded anything yet. So when I started to record, then I had, uh, I have issues with internet. So uh, that's why this video is so late. <laughs> But uh, I kept recording and there was too much noise and I keep, you know, restarting and restarting. And finally, I said, today is the day I get it done and get it up. <laughs> so this is another image of that, uh, of what she includes in her um, digital kit. I put a little piece of lace in there. And that's one of her belly bands that she includes with some of those stamps that she has. I absolutely love this this picture right here because it's just gorgeous and I'm gonna get you a close-up and see if you can uh, where's the camera over here this way yes I'm sorry about the glare I'm in my living room and got the tripod in front of me so please forgive the uh, lighting situation here's another half of the these two pages do not go together I put them here and this is what I'm saying I'm gonna uh, call attention to my flaws in my book <laughs> please don't judge um, I wanted both of these corners to be flush, like squared, and I ended up cutting and uh, rounding the corners on this side. So they don't really match, but I don't mind because, you know, at the end I might have those, you know, covered up and you, nobody will be able to tell. <laughs> this is another sheet. This, I did use a full spread of her digital kit as it was. And uh, I really like this. It just, it goes well. Even if you wanted to split these this two half of the same page up, you are absolutely able to do that because at first I was just using this, this side. And I thought, no, you know what? I want the whole spread so you could get the whole scene of her image in there to see. Here's another one. This is the other half of the other lady that I saw that I love that I showed you of this side and so I split the pages up but because these little books that have pockets have divots in them because of the file folders that's just the way they land that's the way they they come out if you don't like that then you can probably maneuver them and cut them up but how you would do that I have no idea because I didn't even try I just glued this sucker together and let me tell you it was not easy I was all over the place it came out a little crooked um, I didn't mind because in the end you can't really tell I hope you can't but um, let me go on and this is the other she includes one smaller pocket and this one is the one that I wish I would have printed out a little bit bigger because I would have loved for it to fill up the whole page instead of just being this tiny thing. So now I need to add some more stuff around here because I really like that. I loved all these images that she used. Here's another little pocket for some more goodies. You know, this would work really, really well if you were giving this as a gift. You could tuck so many little, little things in here to, to give away. You can put all lined paper in, in here if you wanted or, you know, use the digital kit as is and, um, and, you know, just put your paper across. That would work as well. I love this image. I love how she included that colored teddy bear. It's just so cute. I love it. And here is one of her tiny little envelopes that she includes. I, um, covered the back first and not all the whole entire you know how it opens up like that I didn't do that I just kind of glued it from here this tip to about half almost all the way down to this end I didn't even cover it because I didn't want the bulk in here and you can put whatever or you can just have it to decorate the page you know, and here I did a little bit of decorating, but not a whole lot, stuck in another something. This does not come included with the kit. These do. This is another little image tag that you can use. I put it in, in that envelope with the little birdie. This little envelope does is included with her kit, and so are these corner tucks. 
Okay, and here I just stuck something in there to, to have something in there, but it doesn't mean it's going to stay or anything like that. But I like this tag too. It's just, you know, it reminds me of family. This whole kit has this feeling to me anyway of being family oriented, you know, our ancestral or an ancestral feeling that it has. This is the little belly band that I cut out. <laughs> And um, it was a little bit too long because it had another uh, pineapple on this end. And I, I just couldn't make it fit. So I took that last pineapple off and that's what I made this this out of. So I just pasted it or glued it on top of that little tag that she has in her kit. This is kind of like a, a scrapbooking layout page that I, I wanted to create with these pictures because it just reminds me of... You know, when you get your family pictures and you want to display them and remember them. And um, this whole kit just is great. I made this uh, little uh, image. This is actually comes in the page where they're stacked up uh, two on one side and two on another. And when I shrunk it down, or no, I didn't shrink that one down. I just kind of used it that way. I just cut it up and split the pages and so um, I like the way they looked because again it has this feel of where we used to live you know kind of like a family feel to it I love this background page I think I just used that one side uh, of this page I actually I think this I can't remember if this is a whole spread yes it is but I shrunk it down to to just half of a page and I, I cut that off and just used one side I believe because I don't see it again and then here's the other one of the other images that I found and uh, she also includes uh, a whole sheet of music and if I can get it open and I just inked the back and I used it like a little place where you can um, journal and I tuck it into the other corner that that she includes in her kit. This is also inked the back and you can use it as a journaling spot. I left this blank because I didn't know what I wanted to put on there yet as well as this page. Like I said, I haven't been feeling very crafty lately so please forgive me. Um, this is uh, another image that she had and this I backed up with the music notes and I needed another belly band so I used her music note paper as a belly band so it kind of landed really perfectly there and this is the last page of her digital kit that I used at the beginning this one is the other half of that kit over here and like I said um, this is her the the other half of the of this image of this page and I absolutely loved it and I wanted to you know to be on the outside so if I'm carrying it around or anything then uh, people you know can see the beautiful images but that is it for all uh, what I've done for studio 2080 uh, please come over to our face her Facebook page and and join I'll have the link to that as well down below and um, if you have any questions please feel free to ask and I would love to talk to you and help you out in doing your own thanks bye bye